It is practical with the existing virus plants to launch an aeroplane, have it follow a certain approximate course, and perform some operation at a distance of many hundreds of miles. A machine of this kind can also be mechanically controlled in several ways, and I have no doubt that it may prove of some usefulness in war. In 1943, the Luftwaffe took the idea which had been rejected by Tesla's own government in 1898, called it the V-1, and launched it against Britain in an all-out attempt to win the war. Spurred on by victory, the Germans advanced into a modern age of missile warfare with the successful construction of the deadly V-2. Such a machine, sustained and propelled entirely by reaction, can be controlled either mechanically or by wireless energy. By installing proper plants, it will be practicable to project a missile of this kind into the air and drop it almost on the very spot designated, which may be thousands of miles away. But I am not going to stop at this. Dr. Henry Pohl chief of the propulsion and power division of NASA at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Would you say that uh, Von Braun was one of the major pioneers of the industry? I mean, like, the major pioneers? I would say that uh, in the past, in the time of war, we were forced to develop new technologies and develop new techniques for doing things. And that certainly gave Dr. Von Braun an edge over the opportunities that most people have in life. And I think even at the time that Von Braun was building rockets to drop bombs on England, that back in his heart, he had the desire of going to the moon. And I think every step, every decision that he made was based on what he could do to build a better propulsion system, something that was capable of, of taking us for example, to the moon, or at least into space. You know, we've come a long way since World War II, the propulsion of rockets. Where's the future leading us? Well, the thing that we need now is we need a breakthrough in a new concept in propulsion. That when we talk about chemical propulsion, we've stretched it just about as far as we can. We've always thought uh, that the major advances to mankind came out of war. But what we need is an anti-gravitational device or something like that. Yeah. Do you think that is possible? Who knows? Anything in the, in the future is possible. What about uh, the past? I, I look at the uh, pyramids, for example, and I am not convinced that we did not at that time have some type of anti-gravitational device that assisted those people in putting those huge stones in place. I, I think it was possible then. I think it is possible in the future that we will come up with some technique that can uh, allow us to lift enormous masses with very little force and uh, very an expenditure of very little energy. If we could find some way to come up with some smart way that would just eliminate the effects of gravity on the hardware that we're trying to boost. It will be practicable to project a missile of this kind into the air and drop it almost on the very spot designated, which may be thousands of miles away.